This is my new unit, a replacement from a to flow. So, you'll see. The usual manual. The accessories, let's check if it's complete. Una sa lahat, mag-subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel para suportahan ito. You may also join this channel as a member to avail of exclusive perks like priority in comments reply and early access or exclusive access to some videos for members only. You can also help fund some projects here by sharing Super Tank. Wow! I'm returning this defective unit today to EcoFlow via its authorized service center here in Cebu. For now, this is still operating with battery only and on solar charging at the same time. In my previous video, I said that this has abnormalities. The AC outlet shuts off several times while it was operating on battery only and solar panel is charging at the same time the unit. After several exchanges and EcoFlow technical team doing investigation remotely in the background while I was using the unit, EcoFlow has decided to retrieve my unit for further investigation. Officially, EcoFlow tagged the abnormalities of the unit as charging and discharging or battery abnormality. I was then referred to the after-sales team of EcoFlow in Southeast Asia, which advises me to return the item to its service center in Cebu. For the last time, I'm turning off this unit and pack this for shipment today. EcoFlow will send me the brand new unit once it can confirm that I had successfully returned this to its service center here in Cebu. I'm not going to uh, return the previous including this 45 watt solar panel and this waterproof bag. Um, these are the reasons why I did not request for uh, return on the Zada because uh, if I'm going to return this, the whole package, then I will be missing the freebies. If I order a new with same device, then I cannot avail the freebies. And also the price now is higher than before. So I chose replacement directly with EcoFlow. So I'm turning this off for now. After 14 days since I turned over the unit to EcoFlow Service Center, the replacement unit has arrived. The unit is also complete with same accessories. After unboxing, I installed immediately the new unit on same area and with same load as before of continuous 14 watts for Wi-Fi router, a Xiaomi Home Hub, and a Google Nest Hub, plus a 4-watt lamp shade at night and occasionally my 400-watt pump turns on any time. I also turn on the X boost to ensure the unit can handle up to 1200 watts of power surge. So the instruction is uh, to change the operating frequency for the AC line from 50 hertz to 60 hertz because in the Philippines we're using 60 hertz. So press the AC outlet for about 10 seconds to shift to 60 hertz. Ten seconds. So, where is the? Okay. It already appeared here. Sixty hertz, and the UPS is uh, already on. In less than an hour after installing the unit, the AC output turns off. It happened twice in just over an hour. So right now, the River Three Plus is. Uh, on but actually the AC is off this is the second time in just uh, about an hour okay so look at that my uh, nest hub is off 
although my internet still up because I'm using a mini UPS here so this is worse <laughs> than before than my previous unit so my suspect is uh, there's really a problem on the river 3 flow when it comes to uh, with respect to my pump my pump sometimes uh, is uh, spiking up the EcoFlow app says it was again error 502 based on my monitoring on the app my 400 watt pump sometimes spike up to more than 600 watts this is what they call power surge but again i am wondering why the river 3 plus cannot handle such power surge when the x boost feature on my unit was turned on and supposedly it can handle up to 1200 watts of power surge does this mean that i cannot use my river 3 plus to power my water pump at the same time while the unit is on battery for the past six hours since noon time i've been using the uh, river 3 plus to power my uh, internet uh, devices here including the xiaomi home hub the uh, mini ups the google nest and now the uh, pump shade but the uh, river 3 plus never shuts off or i mean the uh, ac outlet here never shuts off because i removed the uh, water pump the water pump is there you see the smart plug there i connect it directly to the wall socket instead through the river 3 plus so I conclude that um, the problem lies really on the use of uh, the water pump. The uh, power station, the River 3 Plus, cannot handle the uh, power surge of the water pump. Hence, it uh, always uh, shuts off. As I've said in the beginning of my River 3 Plus video series, I bought this power station purposely to power my water pump to save electricity bill, EcoFlow has failed me. I inform EcoFlow about this, that the River Tree cannot handle power surge of over 600 watts. If you have other experiences on EcoFlow power stations, please comment below. Thank you.